Thank you for joining me in this Slings myofascial training lesson, a movement practice that I consider resource-oriented and integrative. Today's focus is on creating the neuromyofascial skeletal conditions for ease and efficiency in walking, running and other athletic activities that benefit from proprioceptive finesse and fascial elasticity. It is a progressive class. We will start on the floor with exercises that have many benefits in their own rights and also prepare for the more dynamic exercises in kneeling, weight bearing and standing. All you need beside a mat are two softish massage balls and if you like a kneeling pad. You can start in supine with the massage balls beneath the pelvis. Position the props in a way that you can center your pelvis with the least amount of muscular effort. We are aiming for a centered alignment in the pelvis and the lower back, meaning your lumbar spine has its natural extension. The legs are about hip distance apart with the heels in a comfortable distance away from the pelvis. Keep the feet where they are and press them lightly away from the body and then release the pressure. As you press the feet away from the body, let the pelvis tilt back and the lumbar spine flex and then release the pressure, center the pelvis and the spine. To enhance the pelvic tilt and lumbar flexion, engage your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles deliberately. Not strongly, but perceptibly. Focus on the connection of your pelvic floor to the rectus abdominis. You can envision a tensile strap that spans from the tailbone to the pubic bone and from the pubic bone to the sternum. Of course, the oblique abdominals and transverse abdominals also assist the movement. In fact, it is an inside out activation. The hip extensors keep them as uninvolved as possible. While you are pressing the feet away to initiate the pelvic tilt and then assist the movement with a light activity of your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles, you are promoting glide in the fascial layers of your lower back. And glide is a key for movement ease and fluid flow, which then assures a speedier recovery, for example, after intense activities. You're also promoting tensile strength. As you tilt the pelvis back, flex the lumbar spine, you tension the different layers of the thoracolumbar fascia and of course, all other fascial structures along your spine as well. And with that, promote fascial strength in your back very gently. And you're preparing for a more dynamic exercise that's about to come. Keep the pelvis centered, the lower back centered, Keep the light activity in your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles and then float one leg into a tabletop position knee above the hip and then float the foot back down, change side. You are engaging the muscles within your pelvis and around the spine as much as necessary and as little as possible. We are aiming for dynamic stability, not fixation, meaning you are hovering on the edge of instability. The pelvis remains stable, but still it is not fixed. 